left of the podium or right if you are looking at it. We have Andrew Seliskar, we have Drew Kibler, we have Tally Haas, we have Kieran Smith, and then rounding it up, those are the four men who finished top four in the men's 200 free. And then in the end here, we have Olympian Ryan Murphy who won the 100 meter back. So we will start with questions right here in the front. Hey Ryan, uh, Peggy with Team USA that Oregon, and congrats again. Um, can you talk about kind of your journey in the last five years from Rio until now? Um, you know, you, your results have kind of been up and down. I just want to know what's been going on, if you can summarize it. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'll, uh, I'll try to make it as concise as possible. So, I, mean, I guess after after 2016, went back to college for my senior year, really put a, a big emphasis on the academic side in, in 2017. One of my big goals was, was to try to graduate with above a 3.5 and I was kind of hovering that line going into going into my senior year. So that was that was kind of my main goal after 16. Um, and <clears throat> I was pretty disappointed with the results that summer. So came back, really wanted to, to kind of prove for myself that, that I was still good at, at swimming and, and that, that kind of, I think, propelled me to, to a good year in 2018. 2019, uh, we had a little bit of a, of a coaching change and tried out some new things in practice and some of those were good, some of those weren't good. Uh, and then the past two years, it's, it's just been really dialed in trying to prepare for, for Tokyo. All right, Kieran answered this one in the uh, in the mix zone, so I want to ask the other three on the relay. Uh, you guys swim against each other a lot, uh, especially in NCAA's. I mean, you guys, uh, Calvin, Texas, that's what that's what the meet comes down to. You guys touch the wall, you are instantly now teammates, not competitors, um, even though you're still competitors. But just what is that like to to have relationships change that quickly, and uh, and just how cool is it in swimming to have those kind of dynamics. Go Bears. Uh, but no, it's great. I mean, when you've been swimming uh, kind of at a high level for a long time, you get to know a lot of the different faces on the pool deck. So um, as much as we are competitors or former competitors in a collegiate sense, um, you know, we get to come together for Team USA. Uh, we get to come together for this training camp coming up in a couple weeks. And, you know, just looking forward to getting to know these guys a little bit more and, and racing fast in Tokyo. Yeah, it was great. Uh, after the race, being able to give Sally here a, like a hug and a fist bump after my freshman year, like just wanting nothing more than to be him. And so it was just fun just to be able to like embrace and just we can both celebrate um, all of our great swims this evening. So yeah, definitely a fun change in perspective. Um, yeah, I mean, I've I always thought swimming is, is pretty cool in that way. Um, I mean, Andrew and I have been racing since we were 15 or 16. Uh, you know, I can remember swimming against him in club meets, uh, 500 frees and stuff like that. So it's cool to, you know, go from racing against him in club and then in college and then, you know, joining a, a few national teams with him. And uh, Drew obviously goes to Texas as well. So uh, racing with them and stuff. but. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. It's um, I'm looking forward to, to being teammates with these guys on the on the national level um, again for some of them. But it's uh, it's it's exciting for all of the 200 freestylers. Obviously, the 200 free has been a point of a little, little bit weakness in the United States for the past couple of years. And there's three countries out there that are really good right now. What are your thoughts on the challenge ahead of Team USA, four gold medals in a row, of trying to continue that legacy and put together a, you know, a really strong relay for, for Tokyo? Uh, well, I, I thought tonight was a pretty good showing of that. Um, you know, we, we were talking about it warming down. It took, in 2016, I think sixth place was 147 mid, and uh, Carson was eighth this year with a 46 mid. So, I think just that kind of shows, you know, we had, uh, where are you? Where are you? Six, 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 three, yeah. So, I mean, 46 low to be fourth, you know, stuff like that. I think that's uh, pretty telling in my, in my opinion for, uh, and for how Tokyo's gonna go. I also think uh, Olympic trials is a pretty challenging meet to put up some fast times, and I think uh, definitely gives us some experience and some uh, some direction on how we can handle those pressures moving forward and only get better in the next coming weeks. So, yeah, I'm confident. I think uh, 
we all got a little bit left more in the tank for, for Tokyo and you know excited to just see what we can put together. Yeah, that was a uh, big final there. Um, top Drew, you were 45, right? So three of us 45 with Andrew being 45 before. Um, and I mean, as for the relay goes, Townley's been 43 on relays, so I think we'll be we'll be all set. All right, Drew, this one's for you. I don't know if you got a chance to watch the time trial there at the end. No? Oh, I, I was uh, in doping control, but I literally, I ran, I could hear the crowd, I ran from the crowd to the to the pool deck. Okay, so did you catch the end of it, maybe? I caught the end of it. Okay, so tell me a little bit more about Jake. You guys obviously grew up on the same, same hometown, same club team. You know, what's it like to see him have such a monster swim like that? I can't think of anybody who deserves it more. I was so over the moon for him. He is such an incredible trainer and just a really, really great guy. Like, more more than anything about um, his talent, he's just a really, really good friend and a good person. And so it just means even more to me to see him succeed in something that means so much to him. He deserves every bit of it, and I'm so excited for him. For Ryan, um, obviously, the 100 back, they're really competitive right now with the guys in Russia mostly, um, and Zhu who you've raced at Worlds. What is your approach heading towards the Olympics and knowing that you're going to be in some really competitive events? Obviously, you've got the pedigree, but it's it's not going to be easy, so what's your approach to handling that? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I can't control what, what those guys are doing, so my, my goal over these next five weeks is just to give my coaches as much feedback as possible so that when I show up behind the box in Tokyo, I'm, I'm as ready to go as I can be. Uh, you know, and I think if we do that, we'll, we'll be in a good spot. All right, Ryan, we had a couple of what some people would say surprises in both the backstrokes tonight with uh, who finished second in both races. It seems like the 100 back over the years has you know, maybe been the race that that kind of stuff happens the most. What What is it about either the race or the depth in this country? Or what is it that keeps producing, you know, these, you know, these thrilling finishes and these great yeah. upsets? I mean, man, if I, if I knew the answer to that, I, I'd be coaching instead of swimming. So, uh, but, but I mean, it's just incredible to see what, what Hunter was able to do. I was, I had an interview after the race and I was like, this guy just keeps on the same improvement curve. He's going to go 49 in Tokyo. So, uh, I mean, it's super cool. I literally met him yesterday. Uh, so, really nice guy. I'm really excited to, to go behind the boss with him. Hey, Brian, Peggy again. Um, I just realized nobody asked asked you yet in this group how you feel making your second Olympic team. Like, is it? Oh, I'm stoked. I mean, it's it's incredible, and I think uh, you know I. I I expected myself to make it. That's that's what I really wanted. Um, but it, it's just really cool to, to to feel that recognition. Like I was able to get out after, and, and my brother is the guy who's handing everyone the pen to, to sign the drum. So I'm, I'm able to give my brother a hug real quick, and I was able to see my my mom and my girlfriend in, in the crowd right after that that ceremony. And so it's just really cool. Like so many people have a hand in 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 the success, and and so I mean I think it's. It really means a lot to me to, to kind of honor them with uh, with making another team. Yeah, this is uh, David with the Mindy Star for Drew Kibler. Uh Drew, uh, congratulations. Thank you. I know you're, I know you're thrilled to make the Olympic team. Do you uh, how do you balance that? You you I'm sure you would have rather uh, gone like 27 hundredths of, of a second faster. I guess how do those two emotions uh, 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 go go with you on, on a night like this? Well, I think uh, in a field of competitors this strong, this talented, this hardworking, I think there's not a single guy in that field that wasn't trying to win tonight. Um, and so shout out to Townley and Kieran for putting on a great race. Uh, honestly, at this point, I'm just thankful to have made the team. Of course, I would love a chance to represent um, the United States internationally in an individual event. I still have a chance in the 100 as well. But uh, I think honestly, this just gives me more motivation to keep working hard, keep improving, and uh, just see where it goes from here. What did you think? Did you get a chance to watch Jake's race? I don't know. Did you get a chance to watch Jake's race? Oh, yes, I did get a chance to watch Jake's race. I spoke about that a little bit earlier. Extremely mo and, like, impressive, inspiring. I it was just blown away by it. That takes a lot of heart, a lot of bravery, and he, he earned it 100%.
Hey Drew, Megan Soyson from NBC. Can you tell us about your tattoos and if they have any meaning behind them? Uh, yeah, they absolutely do have some meaning. Um, they, I've always wanted tattoos since I was a kid, and I, honestly, the, the meaning behind them, uh, it's kind of a long story, so maybe we can share that, save that for another time. But, uh, yeah, honestly, I don't, I don't really know what else to say about it, but um, a lot of thought went into them. Uh, they're going to be on my body for forever, and so I want it to be something that kind of empowers me, and so they're definitely a source of some mental strength, in my opinion. Townley, can you uh, tell us a little bit of how your perspective has changed from the last Olympic cycle to this one? And also, for Kieran, uh, after that, can you just talk a little bit about how your perspective has changed just over the course of three days which, with so much that has happened? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously this is a, a little bit different than last time uh, with everything that's happened, uh, you know, we the year and, and all that stuff. but. Yeah, it's, it's definitely different. It's, it's pretty weird. Um, Michael actually said when he gave me the award, he said, you're a veteran now. And it honestly hadn't hit me until he said it to me um, when I was like, ah, I am a veteran. Um, so it's, it, it'll be a new experience for me, uh, even though it is not my first time, uh, kind of being the quote unquote order guy or the veteran on the team or one of them. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm excited for it though. Townley's gonna be leading team meetings every time out there. <laughs> um, as for the past three days, I mean, what can I say? When, when we got here, I mean, I still haven't been on a, on a long course national team trip yet. Um, and once, uh, once I won the 400 and everything, I mean, I just got swamped right away. Um, it was really busy uh, on that first night. Didn't know really how to go about it, um, but it was a good experience and um, happy to be keeping the ball rolling with the 200 time. I think so. Um, after the first night, I was up in bed a little for a little while, just thinking about the enormity of the accomplishment. But you know, moving through the the 200, the prelim semis and finals, it was um, I kind of got grounded a little bit and uh, just moved forward with that. Perfect, thank you all.